Hey everyone, this is Corey with Corey's Card Craze and another collection box opening. Today is going to be the Venusaur EX Red and Blue Collection Box. I'm trying to catch up on all these Generations products that have come out lately. And in this box we have your sweet looking promo of Venusaur. Or Venusaur EX rather. You have the figure and four Generations packs. I can't wait to get into these uh, booster packs, they are probably my favorite to open out of all these sets. The ultra rare uh, pull rate is amazing. Well, here's the promo out of the packaging, and it is amazing. The art on this, and I just realized there's a Scyther down there, Vile Plume up there, and of course, Venusaur right in the middle. That is a sweet looking promo. I feel like they started off with Charizard, and that was pretty cool looking, and then Blastoise came out, and that was sweet. Venusaur is amazing. And I can't wait to get into the Pikachu, because that one looks insane as well. Set this guy right in the back. Take a look at the figure. Whoops. This one is huge. I love all the artwork on this as well. This is an awesome figure. They are really up in the game on these figures coming in the collection boxes and such. And this comes with one of those, um, what are they called, the poster things. Uh, I'm just pumped to get into these booster packs. I really do enjoy opening these. And there is one of each artwork, because it's Venusaur's box. We'll save him for last. And Charizard, and yeah. So we'll start off with Pikachu. And the pull rate for these is usually right around 50%, and that's for Ultra Rares and Hollows and so on. It's actually more uh, difficult to get a Hollow in the Generation set than it is to get an Ultra Rare. And I don't know why that is, but... It just seems to be that way, and I don't know if that's an actual fact, but that's how it has been for me anyway. I've definitely pulled more Ultra Rares out of these packs than I have Hollows. But the first pack starts with Charmander from the Radiant Collection set, Red Card, Revitalizer, Doduo, Water Energy, Ghastly, Krabby, Reverse Hollow of Clefairy, we have Deancey from Radiant Collection, and my first rare, a, a Hollow Machamp. Just as I was saying that the Hollows are hard to get, I pull a Hollow Machamp out of the Pikachu Generations pack. Fantastic first pull. So him right in the back there with Venusaur. And we have the Blastoise pack. Still hoping to get a full art bird. I haven't gotten any of those yet. This next pack, the Blastoise pack, starts up starts off with Gulpin. Sorry, I'm tripping over my own words here. Golbat, Clefable, Rhyhorn, Psychic Energy, Diglett, Pikachu, Reverse Hollow of Psychic Energy. I love getting the Reverse Hollows in these sets. We have Deancey again, so that's kind of lame twice in a row, and my rare, a regular rare Doug Trio. So nothing good out of that pack. No Ultra Rares yet. Maybe Charizard will give us an Ultra Rare. Flabebe is going to be from the Radiant Collection set. Shauna, Haunter, Clefairy, Meowth, Rhyhorn, Ponyta, Reverse Hollow of Pokemon Center Lady. Wally is Radiant Collection, and a regular rare Parasect. So my only good pull so far was that Hollow Machamp. Maybe the Venusaur pack from the Venusaur box will give us something good. Can only hope. This would be probably the worst box I've opened of the Generations set if I don't get any Ultra Rares. 
We have Floral Crown, Radiant Collection, Double Colorless Energy, Graveler, Krabby, Machop, Grass Type Energy, Geodude, Reverse Hollow of Geodude, Swirlix, which is probably my favorite Radiant Collection uh, non ultra rare card, and my rare, not an ultra rare, just a regular rare Rapidash. Wow. No ultra rare pulls. I had a Hollow Machamp and the Venusaur EX Full Art. That was kind of a disappointing box. I mean, for, for $25, you'd think you'd get something. I mean, this, this promo eventually will be worth a fair amount of money, but those packs were just no good. But anyway, I love opening these, these, uh, these radiant, or not radiant, these uh, red and blue collection boxes. I can't wait to get into the Pikachu. Maybe I'll have some good pulls out of that. It would be sweet to get four ultra rare pulls out of that box to make up for no ultra rare pulls in this box. You have to stay tuned. Maybe I'll put a link. Um, well, no, that won't make any sense. There won't be a link because Pikachu is coming after Venusaur. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I have one more Generations product to open before I have caught up on everything. I think there's actually one more Mythical Collection box i got to find. I think it's, uh, oh, which one is it? Shaman? Did Shaman come out already? I don't know. I'll have to look it up. But I am gearing up for a Japanese booster box opening, as you can see in the background there. So, got to stay tuned for that. But anyway, thank you for watching this video, guys. And as always, tune in.